Morning. Good morning. Um. <laughs> Start again. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> How are you all today? We good. We are good. Yeah. I need to start this um, by putting a photo in, Mazzy, because I forgot to do it on the last video. Yes. I'll just get it out of the way now. It's just a sunset from the other night with beautiful, wispy clouds. So that's your photo. Dan didn't even tamper with that photo. No, I haven't that, touched that it. That is what we saw that night. In yeah. fact, I might tamper with it as well, Mazzy, and show it untampered and tampered, just for the sake of it. Right, uh, how are you all doing today? Uh, We're doing good. Yeah, good night. Recovering? No, not really. <laughs> We're all right, aren't we? We're all right, yeah. Yeah. First job for us today, Mazzy. Yeah. We need to empty it as grey waste because it's full. Yes. So, we're going to empty that. <laughs> yep. We're going to give it a little clean out. Yep, flush it through, yeah. With pear drops. Flush it through first. Yeah. Yeah. And then, we're leaving our pitch. I know. You're going to not tell them where we're going then? Not yet, no. Not yet. <laughs> Let's just get this job out of the way and leave us pitch. Right, so as you know, we've had a bit of uh, a pongy grey waste. Has anyone else got this problem, or had this problem? Um, we haven't noticed it in the last week or two, but it keeps coming back. And it's like rotten eggs. It's a really horrible smell. Um, and Neil has suggested something. I can't remember what the product was now. I don't want to get the wrong product. Um, but it smells like pear drops and we're going to try and put some of that down just to get rid of it get rid of the bad odours but I can't find it I thought it was on here but it's not yes it is it's that stuff yeah just confirmed this is the stuff Cellchem DKS pear drops odour control fluid I didn't realise it actually said pear drops on it but it does smell just like pear drops. Um, so Neil reckons this is really cheap stuff. So I'm going to look it up on Amazon. I'll tell you how much. He says it might only be like a fiver for all that much. So we're going to give it a go. We're going to throw the rest of that in. Once we've cleaned it out and see what it will do. Are you hungry? Mm. Right, I've, just, lying my tummy. <laughs> I've just looked this stuff up. It's not on Amazon, but if you just type it in, Cellchem DKS into Google search, I found some here for like £7.72 for all that. How much? £7.72. What size bottle? Um, well, it'll be that size. It's five litres, I think. That's cheap. It's not bad, is it? Yeah, how come some of these then are more expensive? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, five litres. So there's a pear drop deodorizer. So, uh, right, let's unplug everything, get ready to leave our pitch. Mm. And before we go, we're gonna give it a really good clean out, aren't you? What? Oh, the tank, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, what on earth are you doing now? I'm cleaning grey waste tank, Mazzy. We thought, why do you need all that? Well, Neil gave me this to use. Yeah. But I've just realised it's not going to do the job. Because it doesn't fit over his pipe. Don't no. it? Well, it, it'll just squirt around the edges of it. It's oh. not a snug fit. So I'm going to have to reverse onto this pitch and we'll use his normal hose. And then I'll just take this back to Neil and say, thanks, Neil, that did a fantastic job. <laughs> Pretended he helped you. <laughs> We've just agreed to go for a drink with his neighbours. Yeah, on. yeah, one of our neighbours that we met on sort of day one and I just haven't had time to pop over to say hello again. No. So I feel really bad about that. Yeah, we're just over there. We're just going to go over and have a drink with them in a bit. Yeah. Okay. Right, let me drive over there, Mozzie. Yep. Ah! Have you done it? Yeah. No, well, what? Go on then. I've, 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 just, just, I've just got that bit off. 
There it goes. Oh, check, there's check how much. Oh, it's proper full, isn't it? Oh. So we've emptied the tank. Yeah, I'm just flushing it through now. Just getting the hose, getting all the horrible bits. It was rank. Out. You know, there's one thing which we haven't done in this. I think we did it once and I think we should come keep up with it. What's that? Cheap Coca-Cola and a couple of bags of ice before you set off on a journey and just let it, you know, really scrape all the crud off the sides and I See, think that's I, a good I, idea. I, I don't think, don't bother with that. Well, I say that, but I, my tip would be just make sure you flush it through at least once a week, once every two weeks if you're able to. Or, properly flush it through like this. Or just get some of this. Sell Chem DKS. Yeah, that's only for odor, isn't it? Yes, it's only for odor. It doesn't, uh, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't actually get rid of the bacteria, which is the problem. It's the bacteria which is smelling, which is stuck to the sides of the tank. We, that's why we're pausing it. I'm going to do a real good job today. Go for it. Yeah. Time to stick a sticker. You know what they say? You've got to stick a sticker or two. Well, they don't say that, do they? Altringhamduck.co.uk. If you want to know what it's about, you're going to have to go on that website. There. So, whilst Maz is doing the tank, I would just like to thank Bean Cook. Sweet Pea and Barry Athy for all your emails uh, giving some advice on travel to Spain. Thank you very much. One of them in particular, I didn't know you had to have this COVID test. Well, I think it's 72 hours before you go to Spain. Didn't know that. Um, but anyway, we'll have to do it. So thanks for all the tips. I'll be reading through them properly and seeing what uh, I can get out of them. Right, so what I've actually done is flushed it all through, poured some of this into there and filled it right up to the top and now I'm going to release it just to hopefully sort of give it a little bit more of a clean. Right, you ready? <sighs> so this now is sparkling clean. It actually smells really, really, really nice now. This smells absolutely gorgeous. So now I've still got some more to pour in there. And um, I'm not going to pour it all. That's plenty. And I can use that little drop for another day. Right, thank you very much. We've really enjoyed this pitch. Yeah, thank you, Neil. Thank you, Neil. You're the best. Honestly, guys, you need to get yourselves to the nurseries. Yeah, absolutely. Here in Mumby, Lincolnshire. Not far from Skegness or Mablethorpe, yeah, so Chapel St. Leonard's. Got the best of both worlds. Ingemels. Yeah. Bit yeah, of everything. Please come, yeah. And the lovely. wildlife's incredible. Yeah. No children. It's just peace and heavenly. You allow pets. You allow pets. Yeah. Right, so we better get going then. I hope we get to say goodbye to Neil. I don't know where he is. Yeah. Shall we turn the camera around yeah. and show us driving off? Yeah. Oh. I feel a bit sad. I know. Come I on, like, I like that pitch. Yeah, we're all right. <laughs> we're all right. Go on then. Let's get Come going. Come on then. So here we go. Goodbye, pitch. Goodbye, pitch. Toilet's empty. Yeah. There's grey waste is empty. There's bins are empty. All packed up. All packed up. Fantastic. It's nearly around. We're not gonna get to say goodbye, are we? I'll tell you what, why don't we just keep it recording and take them to us next campsite? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. It's this way. <laughs> oh yes, we're off onto a seasonal pitch. We've got a seasonal pitch. We've got a seasonal pitch at the nurseries. <laughs> Only for an incredibly short amount of time, but hey, it's going to be nice. Yeah. 
change of view, you see. Yeah. Hey, we're more near your um, badges and stuff now, aren't we? We are near the badger. Yeah. Well, we've not seen a badger yet, have we? Oh, look at the state of your bird table. You just dumped it there like that. Home sweet home. Oh God! Breaking the camera. I can't get used to this. Oh, there we go. Right, so here we are on his new pitch. Are you happy? <laughs> Do I look happy? <laughs> you always look happy. Mazzy has had a brilliant idea. You know this? What we used for the windows? Let's try it on the other two pair of sunglasses as well. Well, because I didn't technically watch the video, I'm not sure which sunglasses it was I messed up on. So now I have to do them all. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna give it a quick go. Let me just, oh, I haven't shook it yet. Just a little tip for you, Mazzy. Yeah. Neil was saying today, you don't need to use much. Yeah. On, like you were putting a lot on the windows, you don't no, need to use No, but he was as well. I'm just saying what he's just yeah, told I me. Know, he, he, and do it in slow, this. round circles. Doing it the way I want to do it. Just see if any scratches. And come actually, out. right, Neil had um, t done the same himself. The reasoning why he knew that is because the guy from the actual company had contacted him to say basically you don't need that amount, but he'd done the same. I could have told him that. All right, anyway. How they're looking? Oh, come back to me. Hold on, let me just. I ain't got the best cloth because I give the cloth back to Neil. Just a quick, quick update. Anyway, yep, yeah, these are way too bad. Really didn't do nothing on those. So there's no rescuing them. Got it. They're actually from River Island. And if anyone knows where exactly I can get this exact pair from, please let me know. I keep searching all the time. Uh, they were always my favourite, favourite go-to glasses. And my folks, I'm guessing, are the ones that I messed up on as well. I've took a few little thing, few scratches out of it by the look of it, but there's still a few more, so probably won't be wearing them anytime soon. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, I did a really did a right job. Still with that window though, I was so so impressed. Um, yeah, magic stuff is magic. Something else I noticed on yesterday's video. You had me thinking that you'd used this and you hadn't. Gummy fledge stiffed. I, I, I did enough yesterday. I just, I just didn't want to be doing it. <laughs> so I'm doing it. I, are you, I can guarantee 100% now, I'll guarantee you, I bet you, Free, just three quid, three little quid that you're not going to do all the seals on this van. I'm not a betting man. Um, you're not going to do it. I've already done this little bit. You know, it, I, I believe it is just to protect you. These are made of rubber, aren't they? Just stops them from deteriorating, I think. So you just like, it's got a spongy applicator, push it on and wipe it on. Simple as that. It's a very easy job. I can't say if it's any good or not, we've not really used it, but I'm sure well, it does what it says on the packet. Neil said it's good. Uh, how, how do you know if it's good or not though, really? Well, that's if that's what it's for, Neil, Neil knows his stuff because he's very, very old and he's done, you know, he's used all these products in the past for years and years and years, probably since like Queen were born or something. So he knows what he's on about. So yeah, I'm going to go around these. Well, and just, all of them. Well, just all until just until I turn camera off, I think, Mazzy, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm not uh, I am gonna do all around here though, I've nearly finished. It's not a hard it's job. It's not a hard job, but personally like some of the skylights though and others. They need they need a wipe down first. Way of doing it. I've done all around there anyway. Well done. Thank you very much. We have got some super thanks to give Mazzy. Big, big super thanks. Let me in then. Oh, you're coming in it. Oh. Got your gym jams on. Yeah, so what? <laughs> okay, a big super thanks to Peter Webster. Oh, Peter, you're the best. Thank you, Peter. Busy 1956. Thank you, Busy. It's a man. 
Why do you always have to say whether it's a man or a woman or a girl or a boy or a animal or... <laughs> Thank you, Busy. <laughs> Jacob Clayton. Bless you, Jacob. You're amazing. Thank you. Cheryl Watson. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, Cheryl. 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 And Neil Art. Oh, thank you, Neil. I like that name, Neil Art. Big thank you. Oh, and on our gold thing at the end of the videos, Mazzy, I need to put yeah. a new name. John oh. and Colette. Thank you, John and Colette. They are now gold Patreon Patreons. members, so oh, thank you very, very, really, very, very, very much. We really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Love you all to bits. All of you. It's looking a bit like rain. <laughs> It sure is, darling. <sighs> the amount of times we stand here talking to the camera for ages <laughs> and then realise I'd forgot to press record, it's unbelievable. So embarrassing, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it is looking like rain, so might cut this day short. I don't want to be out in it today, I'm cold today. Um, yeah, we're just going for a little walk. Show Mazzy a few things. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know what it is. <laughs> no, incredible, but I just wanted to show you around some things what Neil showed me when we arrived right. the other day. Oh. First thing is this beautiful little cottagey bungalow. I don't know what you call it. Oh, this is nice. It's not a bungalow, it's... it's uh, a cottage house. Like a cottage house as that, and then this has been extended on since. Now, the previous owners of the campsite lived here. They've just moved out. In fact, the removal van was here yesterday. <laughs> That's so. how quick they've gone. So I believe the place is empty now and this is going to be available for rentals. Yeah. At some point soon. So keep, keep Maybe your next eyes year. open for that. There looks like there's water on that floor. Oh, it looks like it's been mopped or something. It's probably been mopped up. Looks very nice, big, doesn't it, in there? Yeah, Massive kitchen. Um, I'm hoping we might even get a look inside here before we leave. Oh yeah, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. But yeah. So it's not actually ever been rented before. Nope. But never. Coming up, look. So yeah, we might uh, get in there. We'll see. Depends if Neil's got the key handed over to him. Right, let's go on the dog walk, Mazzy. Oh, I said to you, should I change, put proper shoes on? I got my flip flops. I'm not your dad. If you can't decide what footwear to wear... Well, I'm not a dog. Why am I going on a dog walk? <laughs> I'm too cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Heel. Heel. Stop that. <laughs> so this is just over the boundary of the campsite. And it's just miles and miles of fields. So you, technically you can walk as far as you want, really, can't you? Uh, no. Can't you? There's just this path going all the way around this field, I think. I'm not sure. Well, that's big enough, isn't it? I really don't know, to be honest with you. It is a public uh, footpath. Yeah, what, um, just general public? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is, is it? Yeah, half of that dog poo I got rid of the other day was, oh. wasn't people on the campsite. <laughs> but if you're lucky, here you will get, you'll see the odd deer, you'll see kites flying over, um, owls. Oh, there is owls here actually, we've heard them. Tawny owls. Oh, I was about to call them horny owls, I forgot what they were called. I don't know if, I don't know <laughs> if we mentioned it in his video, but yeah, we came out at about two o'clock in the morning and... Is that it? Is that they were like owls? screaming at each other. Yeah, they were communicating. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, they were... they? From one end of the town to the other. <laughs> what, what do they do? Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> They're owls, Mazzy, not yeah. football hooligans. <laughs> Yeah, there is one of, the, well, at least one or probably both of the owls live, I think, over there, near the barns or something. But it's definitely a tawny owl because uh, I put it yeah. on my app and yeah. I looked up a tawny owl and they look fantastic. Oh, they're gorgeous. How's yeah. my dog been? Oh, my dog been? Oh, it's half full already. Yeah. Look at all the wasps, Mazzy. We're on about oh, wasp yeah, problem. Oh, yeah, there's a big wasp. Yeah, let me get in because I don't want them near me. Oh, they won't, they won't damage you. They're just after, like, the... I don't know, the mites on it or no, aphids. Right, we're back in. Where was our pitch again? I can't remember where we were. No, we're right at the other side now. Where were we? We were over there. We're right we? down there. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is what I was going to show you, Mazzy. What? Check these out. Oh, are they? 
These are proper edible yeah. plums. And Neil ate one in front of me the other day, so I know they're edible. They might have maggots in them. You're not going to eat one. Yeah, they might have maggots in. I'm going to have to make sure I get a maggotless one. Are you eating it? You don't even eat fruit. I know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's no maggots. Are they meant to be green plums? Mmm, I didn't think so. They are absolutely gorgeous. I can't remember I last time I had a plum. Oh no, I'm thinking of peaches. <laughs> I dare not go any further in case there's maggots. Yeah. I'm guessing there isn't, but this is full of them all ready to eat. Look at them all up here. Mind you, a lot of them have got uh, Fungi, fungus like a mite or something, isn't it? Is that like mites? No, oh, it's a fungus. Is it fungus? It's a bit is like it? rust. So what else? And then you've got these up here. Oh, what are they? I don't know, but Neil says don't eat them. Did he? Mm. There you go, what are they? They almost look a bit like crab apples, but they've all gone brown. You can see the green there on one side. Oh yeah, yeah. But they're all brown. So I don't know about them, I certainly wouldn't eat them. Oh, there's an owl, I thought that was a real one. <laughs> got me excited then. I don't like these ones. Mushrooms down yeah, here, Mazzy. they look a bit scorny. Definitely not edible, but I think they look pretty cute, really. Right, I want to take you round here. This is the camping site. And this is where I had my dash cam last night and caught the hedgehog and the rabbits and a mouse. Just down here. They're big pitches, aren't they? They are massive pitches, yeah. Got a nice view. You wouldn't complain if you had a pitch that big, would no. you, for your tent? Got a nice view though as well, look at that one. Yeah. And you will see the owls over here on a night. Uh, I think I had the dash cam here last night, somewhere around here. So they were running over here. But apparently this, what was what it? A black minx? Something black mink? Like that. Something really like that. I don't know what one is. It, I don't know what it looks like. It's a bit like a ferret, but black. Yeah, I don't know. And they eat rabbits. Well, you've not captured it yet, though. No one's caught it on film no. yet. But well, it's been seen with the naked eye and Neil seems to think it might run down this uh, ditch, dike. the dike. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm still hoping for a badger and the black mink before we go. Minx. Minx. There's Dan being a little handyman again. <laughs> Helping the neighbours out. I'll be honest Mazzy. Yeah. I'm not actually doing anything, this is my poorly arm, I'm just pretend, <laughs> pretending just, to look good. Just, yeah. We saw you on the canal boat. <laughs> yeah, so the funny story is, the people who've just bought that off another seasonal pitch, um, they were, they came to the nurseries because of watching our video. Yeah. They came for a, a week or something, liked it so much, they got a seasonal here. Yeah, and actually there's quite a few of our, our viewers came here because of us and brought seasonal pictures. So that's good, isn't it? Very. Yeah, that, that shit, it's like a shit. Oh, it's beautiful. Thing, it? It's good knit. That's exactly what I'd want. It's like yeah. ha nearly half the size of our van. <laughs> oh, my my mum would love it if we had that. Yeah. Empty garage. <laughs> Right, let's get in here. Yeah, I just stung my foot on a nettle. Well, that's because you're not wearing the proper footwear. You should have your slippers on, like me. I know. Me. Come on, get in. I'm getting cold. It's birthday cake, Mazzy. I know. Bless her. The neighbour came round. It's her birthday. Happy birthday, my lovely. Yeah, but we've got a problem here. What? One's bigger that than piece the other. is a bit bigger than the other. Well, then you have that one. Yeah, but the bigger one has got a blue star on it, and you like blue stars. I do. We do. We're gonna have to put that in the fridge. Yeah, because there's too many flies. Yeah, we will. Yeah. <laughs> We're still having too many flies. Hey, I'm watching you. Pull it in the fridge. Cause today, yeah, happy birthday, my lovely, and thank you for that. That was so lovely, so thoughtful. And actually, actually, she's the one with the shed. She's the one who just sold oh, the shed. You, I think. No, she's the one who's got the shed that you just helped move it. Oh, I don't know. 
<laughs> right, so the plan was today, we we're going to do roast chicken today, a bit of mashed potato, we've got Yorkshire puds and stuff, you know, like Cake. a little, like a, what's the word, easy Sunday-ish dinner. Cake. But now we're just going to do roast chicken cake sling it in some buns and have some cake load of mayonnaise and lettuce and stuff like that because we're now off out we're off out to one of our other neighbors who's kindly invited us around for a drink yeah it's a bit early but what, to be fair we've actually got quite still quite a bit to do today mm. so and we haven't even started dinner so let's hope it's not too early for them you fit for this then oh i'm in shot now am i Sorry. You forgot to say we're having cake after the chicken. <laughs> they know we're having cake. We're having cake, not you. Not just you, it's us. We've got to share. Right, let's get our bags and stuff together then, my dear. Let's go and have some fun with the neighbours. Come on, then. Come on, then. Oh, yeah, you're there, aren't you? Come on, then. Come on, then. And that's our tea tonight. Roast chicken. Only in sandwiches, mine. So I've done us just chicken and mayonnaise. I didn't get round to doing the stuffing like Dan wanted. Personally, for me, I'm going to be having a bit of lettuce. Do you want green stuff, babe? No. Are you sure? Yeah. There we go. Chicken, uh, lettuce, and a load of mayonnaise. Right, well, tea's ready. Tea is ready. Good morning. Good morning. Woke up, I'm not too happy, I'll be honest with you. Not getting any birds coming to my bird feeding station. None. Now, I've just walked down to the bins and I noticed Neil's is full of like blue tits and robins and all sorts of yellow things, all different birds and they're all going crazy over there. The sign I put on it the other day is gone. So it's time to take a bit more drastic action because this isn't on. I'm not having this. Look, he didn't even have them on the other day. He's topped it up. Oh, look at all the mealy worms on there. He's topped it up and everything. Right, bear with me. Sorted. Let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, Rasha came to get me. His dog. Had to make a quick exit. Don't know what we're doing today. It's a beautiful sunny day as you can tell. It's feeling very September, as Neil pointed out the other day. You can feel it in the air now. Summer is gone. It's trail cam dam time. Not the best night. I'll be honest with you, I got lazy. I couldn't be bothered going to the borders of the campsite to put it somewhere special. I literally just put the cam right behind the van, just hoping some hedgehogs might walk past or something. Uh, got one thing on, in fact, I got a, a, a dragonfly daddy long legsy thing go past. Boring and one massive massive rabbit um now he went right in front of the camera walked past the camera and then he came back a bit later and we woke up this morning and noticed this outside that is fresh and he's done that last night and that's where i had the camera just pointing here so, naughty rabbit, big rabbit, didn't look friendly, you know a watership down, it looked like one of the evil ones, not one of the nice ones. So yeah, trail cam, not much of a success really today, we'll try again tomorrow. Neil's coming. You're not welcome on my pitch. Hey, hey, hang on a moment, my dog's been barking. Yeah? Yeah, it's been, it's been keeping things on guard yeah can you explain what's been going on because random things are happening over on my pitch well it's none of my business that's your pitch this is my pitch you're not welcome on my pitch well listen 
I've got a bin bag over there. Yeah. And I've got signs. Somebody's been trying to pinch me birds. Well, don't look at me. Right, well, I'm not going to tell you where the secret bit, bit is here that you don't know about on this bit. There secret is, what? There, there's a secret bit. A secret what bit? Attracting birds bit. So Neil is not my only competition for the birds. He's just shown me someone who was a bit better at it than us. Not happy, not happy. I'll show you their setup. Firstly, check out the mushroom ring. The fairy ring. Why do these occur? It's like a, sem I don't know, three quarters of a circle there. That looks fantastic. Um, yeah, there's a dude here. He's got three bird boxes. Look, how can I compete with that? Three bird boxes and wait till you see his feeding station. It is incredible. Look at that, it's bigger than our motorhome. There's hardly anything in it, they've eaten it to death. That's empty. Neil tells me all the birds hang around here. They're all up here. I can't compete with that, I just can't compete with that. I need to get myself one of these things, don't I? So that's about it for today, I think. No! I want to talk about Chris the Butcher. I'll go on then. Chris the Butcher, we watched this guy, right? We've been watching him for quite some time, quite a long time. He's got this channel, right? And he's had it for about, I don't know, five, oh. seven years. He's hardly really got any subscribers and he deserves more for the length of time he's been on there and the quality and quantity, quantity he puts out. He practically puts out a video every night, doesn't he? Yeah, he reviews foods, different foods yeah. from supermarkets. You know, new things coming out, the cheap, cheap meals you can get, yeah. frozen stuff. And he is the most honest guy. He, he he don't mess around. If it's rubbish, he'll tell you it's rubbish. And he does swear, so be warned. Yeah, be warned. He, he you know, he, he sometimes like a little tipple while he's um, cooking as well. So <laughs> he gets verbal diarrhea, so to say. <laughs> But so he is, he is such a lovely guy, yeah. Very entertaining, so yeah. get over there, check out his channel. It is Chris the Butcher. Chris the Butcher, but tonight specifically, he's actually replicating my bang, my homemade oh, yes. burger and mash. I mean, your new gravy. I haven't watched it yet, he just put it on this morning, so yeah. I'm really looking forward to it's, seeing his version of it. I think it's it. on tonight at five o'clock, so go over there and tell him that the Travel Trolls sent you. Yeah, in the and comments. And please subscribe to him, he's such a good channel, he's such a lovely bloke. Yes, I'll leave yeah. it. I'll, I'll leave his uh, uh, a link to his channel yeah. in the description, along with, obviously, the very lovely, beautiful man. Neil. Neil. Oh, the campsite him. warden. Yeah. So go, get over, subscribe to both of them. Yeah. Right, right. it is the start of a new day, but the end of this vlog. Guy. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to turn this off and then we can start recording for your next video. Yay. Thank you all for watching. We love you all to bits. Are we going to have an exciting day today? Nah. I hope so. The weather's beautiful. It's cold though, man. Oh, you're and I'm on holiday. I am on holiday. I'm on holiday.